guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Sherry here, how's it going? Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, there's been a personal tragedy in the family. So I am flying out of town um, on Sunday and um, so I'm not going to be doing any readings for about a week. Uh, now I know there's some outstanding private readings so um, email me and I can refund that money for you if you'd like. Um, but if you can wait a week and a bit uh, then I can get that reading to you. Um, so I need to be completely detached from the channel, so I'll also be releasing the zodiac signs as well. Um, but definitely trying to stay on track here with the, tw the twin flame readings. Okay. Masculine, how's it going? So this is going to be a yang reading for April the 16th until the 23rd. Um, so I think I'm going to do a split elemental. So I'm pulling four positions. Uh, representing each element and then one card for the soul in the middle and one card from the bottom of the deck and I also have my little deck here so I will pull some clarifiers as well um, my daughter has some friends over so you might hear them playing downstairs I apologize if they're loud all right, here we go. So beginning with the overall energy, Six of Swords, very interesting. This was your main position card for the Twin Flame reading. So moving into a calmer state of mind, um, making a decision not to engage in arguments or conflict. Um, so that's great. You know, it's, um, this is moving into a healing space. All right, so how is the masculine feeling emotionally during this period? Wow, heart chakra. So we saw a lot of this energy in the twin flame reading. He's following his heart. Um, you know, the twin flame connection showed up twice in his future. So emotionally, the masculine's heart chakra is wide open. It wants to express his emotions, feel love. And there's a sense that there's finally time for that. So one clarifier, Five of Pentacles, he feels left out, you know, disconnected in the 3D reality. Um, and there's a, so there's a sense of him wanting to reconnect in the 3D reality. So what's in the mind? Wow, the Four of Wands. That's beautiful. So he's making these decisions um, based on his deep knowing about the Twin Flame connection. Um, he feels guided. So mentally there's a sense that he's ready to commit. He's ready to move to this beautiful space of, of true love. So this is the twins coming together in the 3D reality mentally he wants to reconnect um, you know so this could represent buying a home together getting engaged getting married celebrating your love for one another so one card the ego but the ego um, so this could be a codependent relationship and addiction um, self-limiting beliefs so here we have this emotional detachment in 3D. And mentally, the masculine is struggling with the ego, wants to disconnect. It feels drawn to the connection, to the twin flame connection, but wants to disconnect from whatever this chain is that holding it, is holding him back. He wants to overcome the ego, um, put his his own selfish desires aside. 
Okay, so um, this is 3D reality, Six of Wands, success, victory in the 3D. You feel accomplished, you feel supported, um, you feel, you know, there's vibrancy and excitement coming into your life. You feel like you're on the right track. Queen of Wands. So your focus in the 3D is on the Queen of Fire. Now this could be the Divine Feminine, which I really strongly feel it is. Um, it's like she's your guiding light. You feel accomplished. You feel victorious when it comes to her. Now the Queen of Wands is somebody who wants to be known, wants to be seen, wants to leave her mark on the world, right? She would do, she, you know, she's, she is the rock star. So in the 3D reality, there may be a queen of fire in your presence that is um, uplifting you spiritually, empowering you, or this, there's a deep desire for you to reconnect with the divine feminine, the one that you feel passionate about, right? Your twin flame. Um, and so, you know, you you've definitely you feel drawn to her in the three D reality, and in the twin flame connection uh, reading, there is actually the sense of you kind of knocking on her door as a final outcome. Okay, so um, this is spiritually throat chakra. So this showed up um, as a final outcome, but in reverse in the twin flame connection for you. So spiritually. Um, there's something you need to say spiritually there. There's intuitive insight. You're listening to your inner voice. Um, it's the sense, there was a sense that there's something you needed to say because it was in reverse and you're not saying that, but it's coming from a spiritual standpoint. And we can see that in your reading as well. You were the high priest, right? And you were bringing this illumination into the union. Um, okay, well, let's see what the clarifier is. Three of Swords. So, as a crowning energy, there was the Four of Swords that was felt on both sides. The Feminine brought in the Four of Swords twice. So there's a healing element um, that is coming from spiritual growth or spiritual enlightenment. Oh, there's a dog barking outside. Um, I'm going to ask for further clarification for this. Okay, so what do you mean? Like your spiritual side of you. This is, you know, the light within you. Finding, hearing your true calling. Finding your life purpose. Um, you know, spiritual growth. Um, you know, it has a lot to do with the twin flame connection, and I can see that connection there. So spiritually, there's a sense that there may be a healing communication. Spiritually, you feel disconnected from the feminine, and you want to mend the broken bonds by communicating. Um, what do you mean? Talk to me. You can't get more clear than that. Um, there's something you need to say. And there's this energy of her drawing you in, you know, towards you. You feel this pull, this light in the dark. So mentally, you, re you need to disconnect yourself from that ego and pursue the things that make you happy and talk to her. Talk about how your heart has been broken, how you feel disconnected, how you feel maybe even trapped. But again, you're releasing yourself from that. Okay, so what is your soul crying out to you? Page of Swords, very interesting. This card um, made itself, you know, uh, the center of attention in the Twin Flame. 
uh, reading. So this came in as a foundation, shared foundation. It also came in as an energy that the feminine was bringing in to the union. So you, again, this is a communication card. You want to speak your truth. You have clarity about a situation. You know what you want. You made a decision. And so again, it's pointing to the Six of Swords. It's pointing to the Three of Swords. And it's pointing to the Ego. And also the Five of Pentacles. There is this need to cut away a chain. Um, and you've discovered a truth about it. About love. About true love. About how you've been holding yourself back from it. So your soul is crying out. It wants to say something. You know, talk to me. This could even just be being open and honest with yourself. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from... Call it Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. So I'm also going to be doing the extended version of this reading afterwards. So if you wanted to purchase that, you can go to my website by following the link below. Um, or you can become a patron on Patreon. And again, the link is below. You get 12 readings for $5. Or you can purchase them separately on my website for 11 11 Okay. Clean it up. The message from the universe is for you to clean up. Um, clean house, right? Release the things that no longer serve you. And that's what this Six of Swords is about. Detach. Okay, so let me read that. Okay. Getting to the core of the situation. Freedom from burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. So this is kind of pointing to also that stranded island um, card that we saw in the Twin Flame reading, final message from the universe. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's time to open up, time to make room. Okay, so the message is, time to clear the air. Take a look at your side of the street and say what is on your mind. Say what is on your mind. Talk to me. Sweep away the old stuff so that the spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what it's, what's yours and what's not yours. To clean up the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. I feel, wow, okay, I feel this baggage here with the Six of Swords as well and the Three of Swords. So you're bringing this energy into the connection and the universe is telling you it's time now to let go, to detach yourself from that. Um, and say what's on your mind. Talk to me. Very cool. All right, so um, I do hope this helped. And um, if you'd like, please leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe. All right, cheers.